Kaixo guzti hoi, eta arratxaldeon e, gaurko e, prestatu dugun e, tabakalera eretxean e, saiora. E, dakizuenez, e, bueno, e, orain dela e, bueno, egoera berri hau edo izierro e, egoera hau azizenetik, tabakaleratik e, aziratik e, apostu bat egin dugu, e, kulturaren alde eta ikusi dugu bai, e, soluzio bezala edo aukera berri bat bezala, Tabakale atxeran e, kulturaren leio bat e, bilakatzea, ez? E, horregatik, e, sortzaile berriekin e, kolaboratzen, e, sor, barka, sortzaileekin, sortzaile berriekin baino sortzaileekin kolaboratzen hasi gara sorkuntza berriei e, espazio berri bat emateko eta baita ere zabaltzeko beste modu batzuen e, apostua eginez. E, bueno, como decía, e, bienvenidas a una nueva sesión de Tabakalera etxean. Como ya sabéis, Tabacalera Chan eh, se ha convertido en una ventana digital a la programación que ya desarrollamos, ya desarrollamos desde Tabacalera. Eh, claramente eh, es un deseo que tenemos desde, desde Tabacalera para, eh, para seguir apostando por la creación, para seguir apostando por, por la cultura y también por, una, por un apoyo a lo que es el tejido, a la comunidad artística y eh, buscar una, nuevas maneras para difundir y apoyar esos procesos artísticos. Eh, acabo esta intervención en castellano para eh, agradecer especialmente al equipo que está detrás de todo este, de, de, detrás del, de, del ordenador, que es el equipo técnico, eh, también al equipo de comunicación, que ha estado apoyando en todo momento estos procesos de, nuevos procesos de, de apoyo a la creación, y también al equipo de contenidos, a mis colegas que, con los que hemos estado trabajando durante este tiempo para pensar una programación de, de calidad. So, um, this is uh, the uh, one new session of Tabacalera Chan, with, uh, which Tabacalera Chan means in, in Basque, uh, Tabacalera at home. With, well, it's a, a new uh, programmation that we started at and kicked off together uh, with the lockdown, uh, in a, with the aim of uh, giving also a space to artists and to creation and creators in a digital way. Uh, in Tabacalera, we always uh, have been, have, uh, we, we strongly believe in the culture and the, and the new creations. And then we think it's a really, um, um, uh, we try to make like a really uh, a big support to that uh, creations and to those processes. In this sense, um, every Wednesday uh, we've been doing like uh, especially focused in creations and creators and what we call uh, new creations. In this sense, we've been commissioning some works to uh, local artists, but uh, we also thought that it would be it would be worth also to give some space to the residents that have been in Tabacalera in our residence, international residency program. And also could be like a moment to, to present the works that have been produced to, uh, with, the, with the support of Tabacalera and uh, maybe that haven't had the chance to be, uh, to be shared by the audience. In this sense, we, uh, we invited uh, Maya Odeshek, which is like at the other side of the, of the screen. She's a, an artist that, uh, hi Maya, uh, thank you for coming and thank yeah. Here. Thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure to have you here again, although it's like uh, telematically and um, for me it's like really a special moment. Uh, I was eager to invite you. And as I was uh, talking, uh, Maya stayed here as a resident uh, last, during uh, 2019 during March and April and uh, she's been selected to be a resident and to develop an artistic project during these two months that she stayed here in, in Tabacalera and uh, we are going to present, we are going to talk about uh, one of the two films that she produced here and uh, the, it's like a, a duo, I mean it's a duo video that uh, one of them is called See Me and the other one is Good Enough, and we are going to talk uh, about See Me. So in this session, uh, we will be, uh, Maya and me, will be uh, talking about this work, 
and it will be uh, also we will be including some clips that we selected of the video. But the video will be also available in, in our website till 10th June. So uh, the thing is, we are not going to see today like the whole film. In, in the, but uh, we will. But you will be. You um, you can check it, check it, and watch it in our website till the 10th of June, like in a, in his full uh, length. So um, Maya, um, maybe uh, what we can do it's like talk about your. Um, sorry, I'm going to also talk about briefly about your CV. It's like you are an artist. You are based in Celia, in Slovenia. You are, you are, you are Slovenian, and your work is uh, basically uh, in based in uh, video work, installations, and you also. I think it's really important to say that, that you are. You also initiate like your uh, design workshops, and you also create. So it's like your profile is quite um, interesting in that sense, and you are uh, strongly. Um, interested in uh, human behavior mm -hmm. uh, and knowledge acquirement and also like in the performance itself right so i think it's quite important to mention like those two those three uh, points or details to talk about see me so i would like you to introduce maybe or what were like when you came here to san sebastian which were like the, um, I mean, what was your desire, your aim to develop, to, yeah, to, to kick off? Because it's important to say that also you came here in Tabacalera and you, with the aim to start up a new project, mm -hmm. right? Exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, as you mentioned, at, I am interested in the production of behavior. And during the residency, I was looking at, uh, I was inter interested in when performance became an integral part of work. So I was looking at different historical examples on how, for instance, corporations start to use uh, human resources in order to improve production. And I was looking at one example kind of resonated with me. It was uh, a study that was done in the, in the beginning of the 20th century in the US. It's called the Hawthorne Studies, and it's known now for like being the first study of employees' attitudes. The aim of this study was to check if, uh, if lightning, if a change in lightning would uh, affect the workers. They realized that um, um, this had no impact to, on, uh, on the workers, but that the social factors did have a strong impact on how the workers behave. For instance, if they were put together in one room with the manager and the manager would like pay attention to them and would command their work, they would modify behavior because they were mm -hmm. observed and they would increase, um, they, they became more productive. Mm -hmm. And this was interesting for me because I was thinking uh, if I could create my own experiment, a bit different, of course, and I was, uh, um, the experiment was to put the camera in this place of the one who looks, who uh, observes, and to have an actor in front of the camera and then see, what happens in this situation. Both of the works were done in this similar way, um, maybe. So for people, for the viewers to understand it was, you weren't, you weren't like collaborating with workers, but with actors, right? Yes, for this okay. experiment that I did. For the experiment you did. Yeah, I, I decided that I will work with actors. I don't normally do that, but for this, mm -hmm. For this uh, particular situation, it seems necessary to work with someone who who has experience in performing. Mm. We will talk about the experience of the how was there, yeah, with the, your first experience working with actors, and also it was also new for us, like in the sense of the workers or like help, like assistance of the residency. So I propose you to see the first clip. So. Okay. People also, I mean, has like a yeah, like a, a first touch or a first impression with the with the film. Mm -hmm. Hi.
What can I do? <clears throat> Let's start now. Please. I'm ready. Whatever you want. We start. You're here for some reason, no? Also came here for something. Okay. So uh, what we've seen is like uh, one of the clips that we prepared for the for the this session. And what we see it's like uh, Inigo Aspitarte, which is a local actor. It's a professional actor. And uh, for the other video that we, uh, the Maya also worked here, uh, we work with a girl, which is Marta Altolaguirre. Both are professional artists, so I would like you to, um, maybe we can talk about uh, the relation and then I would like also to, to talk about the video itself. Like I'm interested in the process that we, we, we started with the, how was the relation with the actors? Well, I was looking for someone who, because the project was very open and experimental, I was also looking for actors who works in this uh, experimental way. And then Tabacalera um, kind of proposed to me a laboratory, a, a local theater that functions as a laboratory that is run by Marga Alto Laguira. And we met with Marga and we discovered we shared many interests, uh, especially she is also interested in the um, Jerry Grotowski who invented this sport theater. And at the time I was also um, reading a lot of material connected to that. So it was a quite perfect combination. And also Inigo works in the same theater. So um, yeah. But I have to say the project was a bit risky also for me because I didn't know what to expect because the the it's a very simple idea actually the actor has to be in front of the camera for a certain duration for several hours and whatever comes out of this is the narrative of this film. Mm. So it was a bit risky. Yeah, it was risky, but I think it's interesting what you said, like what you mentioned about like the the different, yeah, different uh, methodology, methodologies or techniques in uh, theater that also has to do with, uh, with an attitude, with the behavior, like you can acquire like in a maybe, uh, I don't know how to, it's like improv improvisation, but also like forced improvisation, right? Because for example, what we see in the, this first clip, clip it's like, um, it's a guy, it's alone in the dark, and he talks to someone, but we don't know really who's talking to. It's like, I mean, I, I think about is he talking to you if you are be behind the camera? Well, we don't know because we don't know if you are behind the camera. Is he talking to the audience or is he talking to the camera itself? Because I don't know, as we have like no, there's no need to have like all the information. Um, we don't know who's behind the camera, right? And uh, yeah, and we see something like for me, it's quite interesting. Like it's, he feels like observed, right? It's like the um, someone is watching him, even if it's a camera. I mean, he's mm -hmm. been and, and nowadays it's more like, yeah, it comes. It's really, um, yeah, uh, it's a, a really, uh, it's a debate, you know. It's like a, that we are talking about the observation, right? And in this sense, like he he's talking to someone, right? And that's maybe uh, something that 
I just wanted like to to comment, but mm -hmm. that's that's the yeah. Uh, but the fact that there was no response uh, uh, that triggered a strong emotional uh, reaction. I was behind the camera, but I mm -hmm. didn't react. Yeah, that's it. I mean, mm, mm. so he's. I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah, we will. We will see at the next clip, and yeah, we can. We can uh, comment. I also like he's being observed, but somehow maybe he's being judged, as you mentioned. Also, like in the in the studio that was made like for workers. No, it's like how changes the behavior, and mm -hmm. he's a bit like yeah, in in that uh, that uh, vulnerable. Uh, mm -hmm. situation right? maybe um, we can see the, um, the second clip and we can keep on talking what will you do when I get tired of watching you keep stirring <laughs> no no I can go away you know I can go away But that's also how you win. I can, I can go, I can, I can, and I will go whenever I want. When not whenever you want, I will go. So I can go whenever I can. See, I can go. I'm moving. You see, I can go. So do something. Do something to keep me here, because I can go. I can go. You see, I can go. I'm not here anymore. I'm not here anymore. Shit. Ah, <laughs> I, shit. I can go. It's true. I can go. I can go, but I don't want to. That's it. I don't want to go. I told you we could start from the beginning again. How do you want me to do this? How do you want me to do this? It's still okay. Okay, so here, like the, um, I mean, it goes like in crescendo, right? And mm -hmm. I, 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 I asked, like, I, we, I mentioned, like, the improvisation, but um, how much of improvisation is it here? I mean, I, did you have? I mean, did you work with the actor himself? Was there any script, and was maybe more like this kind of the techniques that they already had? wanted to to put into, into practice that brain was were uh, coming from the school or how was like this kind of yeah in, in the, in the re, was there any rehearsal was there any yeah previous moment with the actors no there was no rehearsal no instructions the only the only um, um, I, I, the only idea of this film was that they have to be in front of this camera and what happened mm -hmm. to and I think with this duration um, uh, forced him, this duration forced him to show this, a pressure was created to show something and then what to show when there's no plot. So mm. I even myself don't, I'm not aware of what in the film is real and what is not real because uh, mm -hmm. for me, it seems um, that he was really affected by this, um, camera eye that that uh, appeared to be very controlling because mm -hmm. he was the, he was constantly being um, looked at and i think uh, this created a certain moment of aggression even 
Yeah, because he starts like being really challenging and really almost like threatened, right? It's like threatening like the yeah, yeah and, and I mean it's like yeah, it's I think it's threat it makes like th he threatens like the camera, the you that were behind and the audience as well. It's like and it's uh, and it was very divided because in one sense he tried by any means to get the attention of the camera, and then in the other hand he became also very resistant and, and angry towards the camera. So I think the whole film shows this the, um, split uh, because he never leaves. The, the option mm. uh, would be that he could actually go away. And he's, I mean, but he doesn't mm. do that. Yeah. And also like for me, it's like um, quite a, like, was, I was quite, a, I, re I will remark like the silences, right? Because they are few silences there, no? But they are really, really heavy ones, no? Really tense. Yeah, I think in the end this, uh, this look became unbearable. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. I have to say both of the... It's interesting that because we were shooting in, for, uh, in a weekend, meaning two days, but both of the films, with Inigo and with Marga, I only used the, rec the um, material of the first day. Okay. Because in the second day, I think they already had some, they already started thinking it was not so uh, immediate response. Mm -hmm. and it was a different atmosphere. Uh, yeah. The second day. Yeah. And I also remember that it was that weekend that you were working with you and we weren't even in the, at the office. So it's like you mm -hmm. were with the camera and in Tabacalera, like on your own, like with Inigo. <laughs> okay. So uh, maybe we can see the, the third clip and um, yeah. I can do the same thing. Let's see. Let's see who wins. If that's the game, I can do the same thing. Okay. Don't stare at me. Don't stare at me. Do you understand? Don't fucking stare at me. Stop. Please, stop. Shit. I'm not going anywhere, okay? So don't stare at me. Stop just for a fucking second, please. 
¡Stop! I will just stop you. You don't even care. You don't even care. I'm not looking at you anymore. Not anymore. I'm not looking at you anymore. Well, this is a really quiet one. I mean, it's like uh, here he apparently it's like gets really angry. Mm -hmm. But he also gets angry, but at the same time, like he begs, no, to stop, mm -hmm. to, to, to cut. But it's mixed also with a feeling of resistance. So, yeah, yeah. Kind of, I think, yeah, I think he tries to. He turned this game into some kind of a competition. Yeah. He all the time tries to win the camera over, and he mentions in in a few um, sequences that that's how you win or, or that this is a game of uh, competition actually and then he when is the moment when he tries to imitate the camera he this i have to say it's a cut out um, mm -hmm. uh, sequence but he was in this frozen state for 20 minutes or more i think and then after that when he sees that he he by any means he doesn't get hurt at all he kind of breaks from that and then he mm -hmm. starts to this is the moment when i think he realizes that there's no solution in this game for him good solution for him so <laughs> he, uh, he becomes angry but still yeah. he never leaves this was yeah. interesting for me because yeah he threatens like if i and he when he says no i can leave whatever i want yeah, yeah. no but he never leaves he's always there no. right yeah, and um, he even turns your the back on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a really. Uh, this is the moment when he tries to resist, to not look, to not be looked at anymore. Yeah, so, and it's like, mm, and I, I also like almost he loses like the the sense of the respect towards yeah the camera of course, but which is like uh, the you like behind the camera, no? It's like because you are there. And I think it's like you did a really, really uh, hard exercise of uh, being like silent, right? Because all, most of the film you were like there, like staring at him, no? And also the, you were like with the camera. I mean, it was a learning experience for me mm -hmm. because uh, I didn't, ex it turned out that this relationship was very oppressive mm. to him and um, for me, it was hard to to be there, but I knew that if I will intervene in any kind of way, I will destroy this atmosphere that was um, uh, being built. But um, yeah, it was very, um, he had no voice basically. Yeah, it's like a power relations in between you and, and him, no? That it's like also like the essence of the, of the project of the, of the states, no, like, like the starting point of the project, no, it's like to 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 have that power uh, relation in the, in the steering others. Mm -hmm. And also the fact, I, for me, it was interesting how he always initiates that he will leave, but he never goes away. I think it's because um, if he goes away, he knows that someone else will take his place. It's a bit childish, right? Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit childish. Yeah. Um, so maybe we can see like the 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 last cut. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we we can like I have like more few questions. Like I would like to or questions or things I would comment on you. And yeah, uh, let's see the fourth one. Can we cut? Can we? Can we? Seriously, can we get? Seriously.
Can we? I'm, I'm asking you, can we cut? Can we cut this shit, please? Please, can we cut this shit? Do I have to say it in some other language? Can we cut this shit? Does somebody hear me over there? Hello? Can we cut this shit? Oh, fuck. I'm not going to say it louder. Now, really, can we cut this shit? We won't cut it, no? We'll keep, we'll keep here forever. 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 Ah. <sighs> This is a mess. This is a mess. So we should stop it right here. Can we cut, please? Please. I mean, so serious right now. <laughs> Can we cut, please? So in this clip, we see like he is almost like desperate, right? To finish this shit, as he says. So he, he, he begs now, he asks please to cut this shit. And also it's quite, I mean, it's for me, it's quite a uh, significant when we said, can we cut? No, it's like, mm -hmm. he's not alone. He's someone there that, and he, He's, he, it's not, it's like a, a group, no? It's more than one that it's in the same uh, project, right? And this is quite uh, significant. But it's also interesting because uh, who manipulates who? Because mm -hmm. uh, for me, I didn't realize what was an act and what it's not an act. Um, for instance, um, the only rule that we had in the recording was that if something becomes too intense, the actor says to cut and then we stop. But when we were filming, I was so drawn by this um, session that when he said, can we please cut? I didn't understood that he's actually saying to cut, to stop. But then he, I think at a certain point, he realized that I don't even understand what he's actually saying to me to stop. And then it continues, it continues in this torture Scenario. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's like I mean, it's like um, it's someone is kidnapping someone, right? It's like a really, yeah. It's a for me, yeah. The word I didn't want to say the word because, it, but as you said, it is like kind of torture, right? For yeah, but not only for him. I think it's for both, right? And also that we were, um, yeah, you and me were talking about. It's like also um, it's a moment where maybe um, some person are frustrations. Uh, uh, arise, no? Um, you don't know where, but it maybe could work as a, a therapy session, no? It's like going to... Yeah, it has this effect, the camera, uh, the camera as a psychoanalytic tool. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, this was also, in, uh, I research, I, in my research, I'm very interested in that, how the field of psychology, for instance, 
um, uh, was incorporated in various uh, um, corporate um, um, corporate um, how the corporation started to yeah, yeah. use the field of psychology in, in order to to uh, implement all our feelings into work structure. Or maybe even to recruit workers or employees. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like they use it as a tool, like as a really uh, evil, uh, from my point of view, it's like you can always yeah, manipulate that. No, It's like really push uh, maybe uh, situations too far, no? and where human behavior, it's completely maybe reaches like unknown uh, places, right? But there's another example that I was interested in. It's called T groups. It was also uh, after the war. They had many after the Second World War in the U.S. They they had many training sessions that like a laboratory um, spaces where they were would invite various workers into so-called T groups. Mm -hmm. And this was similar. You had a group of people who were just there talking to each other, and whatever came out was the material for study. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to say this is not something that I invented, but I just tried to test it out how it actually looks like in practice. But um, yeah, there are many examples of how through psychology, uh, uh, how psychology is used as a learning tool mm -hmm. that is later being utilized. Yeah. And um, finally, I also uh, just to... Uh, one question about like how was like the um, yeah the um, the relationship I mean the, the how was to be like with Inigo in the in that um, in that small space with a camera where where you don't know if he is acting or he is really in a really distressed um, feeling right I have to say it was very uncomfortable for me. Because, and I think now when I show every time I show the work, uh, also there's this relationship between him and the viewer, and I think the the uh, audience also experience this lack. Uh, this um, uh, they're also in an uncomfort zone because mm -hmm. the way he, yeah, it was for me. It was just um, quite. Um, uh, surprising because as a film director I never paid so much attention on what this tool that I use a lot what actually this tool can do to to how it can affect behavior mm -hmm. and yeah. this is something that I'm aware of it now and um, I think it's quite it can be quite problematic yeah <laughs> quite uh, yeah like in the in the edge of violence no All right it's mm -hmm. like yeah um yeah maybe i wanted to i don't know uh, maybe we can also open like the q a uh mm -hmm. you have like uh through the vimeo chat you can send me or you can send us like any comment any question that you could have uh, you can send it in english but you can send it also in basque or or spanish and i will translate it to them to maya so maybe uh while they arrive if they arrive uh, i would like to comment maybe like some more technical issues uh, like the the black uh, background the black wearing the black chair and he is also brown so it's like uh, it's almost like a black and white uh, film no it's like his face and his expression is in white and the rest is in in black so maybe it could be like i don't know just maybe it was a uh, something like was like it came by like randomly or or not no no i was uh, in purpose looking for a very minimalistic scenography the only prop is a chair and this black background is basically is uh, chosen because i wanted that the figure becomes the focus um no distractions with any kind of uh, props or anything so um, the scene was very minimal mm -hmm. yeah and also, yeah, maybe we can also uh, comment that this work can be shown separately, but also together with the other uh, film, like in a, a two-channel two -channel installation, no? Yeah, 
it can be shown as a two channels uh, installation or separately. Actually, I want to mention that the second yeah. part good. of the film, the good enough, um, is now exhibited in an um, online exhibition that, uh, called uh, Virtual Self Portrait. This is organized by Moderna Galleria in Ljubljana, and they invited uh, 23 curators uh, from all over the world. And um, uh, Bojana Piškur, who is a curator in Moderna Galleria, she selected uh, good enough. So you can also see it in the online. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a really nice uh, yeah, uh, coincidence, no? I like to have like one here in, in Tapacalera. It's not a normal exhibition, but Mm -hmm. Well, it's like a kind of a digital window to it, and the other one that is like the brother or sister of the of the the one we are showing here. It's in Moderna Galleria, also in an online exhibition that came up um, together with the lockdown or with the possibility to attend to the exhibitions, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, for my side, uh, I think it's all. I think we did like a quite nice uh, uh, research in the CME. I don't know if you want to add anything else? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think there's, there's no questions arriving here. So uh, maybe we can we can finish here so um remember that the film is going to be available till 10th june in our website and uh, just uh thank you maya for uh coming here to tabacalera Echean. and thank you for everybody that has been like sharing this session and have a good day thank you Right. Next week we will be having another Tabacalera Chan with a new project, uh, a new project uh, that we commissioned. Sorry, <clears throat> to a local artist, which is Camila Tellez. So yeah, have a nice day and thank you. Uh -huh.